Welcome to CalDose. In this video, we would like to show you how to calibrate the leptoscope in order to achieve the highest measurement accuracy. With the manual zero, foil or multipoint calibration, the influence of the base material and geometry can be reduced considerably. You should always carry out the calibration if the measurement accuracy on a reference part is insufficient. Begin by switching the gauge on and connecting the probe. In the menu, select calibration and then zero calibration. Now carry out a series of measurements on the uncoated reference part. Here we use the FE reference block. The more readings you record, the smaller is the influence of the surface roughness. Check the result of the calibration on a coated reference part. For example, by placing a calibration foil on top. If the result is satisfactory, the gauge is set up for a measurement. If not, repeat the calibration and, if necessary, select one of the other calibration types. For example, the calibration zero and foil. Again, we perform a zero calibration by first taking a number of readings on the uncoated reference part. Confirm with OK. Then place a calibration foil on the reference part or switch to a point on the reference part where the exact layer thickness is known. Record a number of readings and confirm with OK. Now enter the nominal value of the layer thickness at the measuring point and confirm with OK. Check the result of the calibration at a point with the known layer thickness. If the calibration types presented so far do not provide a sufficient accuracy over the entire layer thickness range, carry out a multipoint calibration. The first calibration point can easily be recorded at a point with or without a coating. We start with the calibration on the uncoated reference block. Record multiple readings and confirm with OK. Enter either 0 or the known layer thickness at this point. For the second calibration point, change the layer thickness by either using a calibration foil or by choosing a suitable measuring point. Record the readings. Confirm with OK and enter the known layer thickness. Proceed in the same way for the third calibration point and any following. In total, you can record up to nine calibration points. The span of the calibration points should completely cover the expected layer thickness range. Therefore, we record another calibration point with a foil whose thickness is slightly above the largest layer thickness to be measured. If you do not want to record another calibration point, end the calibration by pressing the escape key. Check the calibration on the reference part. If the result is satisfactory, you are ready to perform the measurement. We hope this video helped you with the calibration of the laptoscope. See you next time!